So hello viewers, welcome to my channel Medicinera. I am Mayuk and today we should start a topic on pharmacology of local anesthetic. So what do you mean by local anesthetics? Local anesthetics are the medications which are used to inhibit the pain sensation in case of surgery. Okay, so if uh, suppose there will be a surgery in the part of your hand, so there must be some pain sensation during the surgery. So if we want to block that pain sensation, then we have to use the local anesthetics. Okay, so in a particular part of body blocks the nerve conduction to block pain sensation. So uh, if in a particular part of body, there must be some nerve impulse, so nerve conductions are there. So due to these nerve conductions, there will be the pain sensation. So if we block that particular nerve conduction, then we will also inhibit the pain sensation. So this is the main theory of local anesthetics and it will act in a particular part of body. So this is called as local anesthetics in a local part of body. Okay. So in case of mechanism of that particular local anesthetic, we have to know that it will elevate the threshold of electrical excitation. Okay. So if the electrical excitation is elevated or the threshold of the electrical excitation is uh, increased, so it will be uh, very much deserving for that reduction of action potential. Okay. So the threshold is increased and the action potential is also decreased. If the action potential is generated, then the nerve impulse will also be propagated. But without the action potential generation, nerve impulse cannot be propagated. So these local anesthetics are used to elevate the threshold of electrical excitation and that will reduce the generation of action potential. And after the generation of action potential is reduced, it also slows down the impulse generation. So in a particular part of body which is going through the surgery, there the action potential generation is inhibited or slowed down. That will also block the nerve impulse generation through that part. So there will be no pain sensation. This is the main mechanism of local anesthetics. Okay. The main site of action is cell membrane. This is the important part. So these local anesthetics are mainly working in the part of cell membranes. Okay. So cell membranes of what? Cell membranes of nerve fibers or the nerve cells. So we have to come to this diagram, these two diagrams. In these two diagrams, there will be two nerve fibers in that green colors. Okay. And these nerve fibers, these portion, these particular portions are cell membranes. Okay. So these upper portions. And these particular portions are called ion channels. You also know that due to the conduction of different type of ions in our body, there must be some ion channels. Okay. So these particular ion channels are called sodium ion channels. And if the sodium ion influx or the sodium ion propagation is possible outside the cell membrane to inside the cell membrane, then after the action potential is generated. In this diagram, that sodium ion enters into the inside of the cell membrane, so that particular action potential is generated. And if the action potential is generated, then it will be uh, giving the birth of the nerve impulse. Okay. So this is the normal way of action potential generation or propagation. In case of local anesthetics, when we are using the local anesthetics, it will be in the unionized form. All the drugs in unionized form. If we are trying to administer the drug in our body, it will be also in the unionized form. And if that particular local anesthetic in unionized form is crossover to the cell membrane of the nerve fiber into or inside the cell membrane, then it is changed into ionized local anesthetic. Keep it into your mind that the RNAs form of drug can cross the cell membrane, but when the drug is converted into ionized form, it cannot or can't cross the cell membrane. So to cross the cell membrane, the drug must be in the unionized form. And after the crossing over, this particular local anesthetic is converted into ionized, ionized, ionized form. So this conversion into unionized to ionized form will resist the back diffusion of that particular local anesthetic from inside to outside. So this particular local anesthetic can cross over or can go to the outside of the cell anymore after the entry. So it will block the particular ion channels, mainly the sodium ion channels. So in case of a nerve impulse generation, there must be some sodium ion influx and due to that blocking of that particular ionized, ionized form of local anesthetic of that particular ion channel inhibit the influx of that sodium ion into the nerve fiber. 
So due to the lack of influx of the sodium ion into the nerve fiber, it will cause the blocking of the action potential. Okay, so the action potential generation is inhibited. So due to the inhibition of that particular action potential, there will be no nerve impulse or conduction of nerve impulse. So that blocking the particular nerve impulse generation. So this part where the, this type of nerves are there, this part will be lack of nerve impulse generation. So there will be no pain sensation. So this is the main microbiological or microbiological or micro level point of that mechanism of local anesthetic. Okay, understand? So the next part, an ideal local anesthetic. What are the particular characteristics of an ideal local anesthetic? They should be non-irritating. So they cannot uh, persist any type of irritation into the cell membrane or any type of tissue or cells. Don't cause any permanent damage. So they don't cause any type of permanent damage to the nerve fibers or cells where they are injected or where they are topically administered. No systemic toxicity means they cannot be or they can't do any type of systemic or toxicity in the blood. This is the most important point. They have the quick onset of action and sufficient duration of action. So during the surgery, prolonged duration of that surgery, they have the quick onset of action. So their action will be quickly started and the sufficient duration of action. So the surgery will be completed very easily. Okay. And the last part is effective while injected or applied locally. So in the two forms, mainly effective when injected or applied locally. So in these two forms, they are effective well. Okay. So these are the uh, main characteristics of an ideal local anesthetic. So you have to know all that points. So after the mechanism of action of that local anesthetic, we have to know what are the examples of local anesthetics, mainly lidocaine, procaine, benzocaine, mepivacaine, bupivacaine. These type of drugs are mainly called the local anesthetics. They are using in various purposes of surgery. Okay. So in case of local anesthetic, there is an important term is there that is called pre-anesthetic medication. What are the pre-anesthetic medications? They are the medications which are used with the local anesthetic during the surgery or used before the local anesthetic. So they are called pre-anesthetic medication. Likewise, adrenaline. What adrenaline does in case of local anesthesia? It, it will reduce the local blood flow. It will reduce the local blood flow in which portion? In the portion of particularly that portion where the local anesthesia will be um, demonstrated or where the portion is under the surgery so this portion is mainly injected by adrenaline so it reduces the local blood flow there so if the local blood flow is reducing there so the rate of absorption of local anesthetic also slows down so due to the decrement of the local blood flow in that particular position or portion the rate of absorption of local anesthetic will also be decreased so the prolongs its activity so the rate of absorption of local anesthetic is decreased so it prolongs its activity so in case of local anesthesia the prolongation of activity is very important okay so that the surgery will be completed successfully so these are the pre-anesthetic medications they are mainly used with the local anesthetic or prior to the local anesthetic what are the side effects of local anesthetics mainly hypotension means the bp or blood pressure will be decreased from the normal level bradycardia means the heart rate will be decreased this is also a part of cardiac arrhythmia. Agitation and convulsion, they are the main parts of different type of epileptic seizures. So in case of side effects of that local anesthetic, that agitation and convulsion will also be reported. So these are the main side effects of local anesthetics. So in case of pharmacology of local anesthetics, you have to understand how the local anesthetic is worked, meaning it's a mechanism of action. Okay and pre-anesthetic medication, what are the examples of that local anesthetic and also the side effects of that particular local anesthetic because they are using during the surgery. So you have to keep it in your mind that the side effects will be playing a very important role. So you have to choose that particular local anesthetic after seeing its side effects. Variants of different type of patients. Okay, so what is this? This is a diagram of puffer fish. Puffer fish means this is a important and delicate cushion in Japan and Korea. Okay, they are eating that puffer fish in their different type of meals, but the cooking of this fish is very important and it will be um, uh, does in a very type of supervision. Okay, mainly it will be cooked in a supervision of a um, registered chef because this puffer fish contains a very dangerous anesthetic agent that is called tetrodotoxin. If we eat that puffer fish without any supervision, then this tetrodotoxin will be entered in our body and this tetrodotoxin will increase the anesthetic effect 
or this high dose anesthetic will uh, will be responsible for coma in that particular patient or in that particular person who is ingesting that puffer fish so in case of eating that puffer fish there will be a definite supervision of a registered chef okay so this is a very important point this puffer fish will secrete a natural local anesthetic high dose local anesthetic that is called as tetrodotoxin so this is a very important aspect in case of puffer fish this fish is very floppy no this will it's a, a gesture of its self defense so it looks like that and it also to protect itself it will secrete that tetrodotoxin which will uh, anesthetize that particular predator okay so this is its uh, self defense activity so you have to keep in mind that okay so these are all about the local anesthetics and its pharmacology so this is all about pharmacology of local anesthetic hope you enjoyed that particular topic and uh, i've given a note on the description of that particular video please go through that and please subscribe share comment and also like my channel and see you next time thank you